But it is a delight to welcome uh, on board with us our first conversation with the uh, newly uh, appointed chancellor at UH Manoa. He's Dr. Tom Apple. And, uh, Tom, thank you very much for taking the time. How are you? Rick, I'm doing very well, and I'm delighted to be able to have this opportunity to talk to you. Thank you very much for that. And uh, where are you today? I'm uh, sitting here in my office at the University of Delaware in uh, beautiful Newark, Delaware. Newark, Delaware, population of? About 35,000. Oh, okay. And when the students are here, it's more like 55,000. <laughs> there you have it. I, lo- I love the doubling. I love the double-up uh, population there. <laughs> uh, uh, Tom, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself, and we'll jump in a little bit about UH. Sure. I'm a uh, chemist by training, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I grew up in the uh, steel town of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and uh, went to Penn State University, and uh, uh, then came uh, here to the University of Delaware to get my doctorate, mm-hmm. uh, and then traveled around the country. I was at Iowa State University and the University of Nebraska, uh, Rensselaer Polytechnic, and came back to Delaware in 2005. And uh, I should add that in the early 90s, I had my the opportunity for the first time to go to Hawaii. Oh, wonderful. And, uh, my wife and I have been back uh, at least 20 times. And oh. It's our favorite place on the planet, and uh, we're absolutely des- delighted to be able to return to Hawaii to the great university there and, and really now begin to contribute to the state. Well, that's tremendous. Uh, thank you very much for coming over so many times. Our local economy appreciates it greatly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that uh, you're part of uh, the Ohana at UH, um, one question that had come up because of the transition uh, from uh, Virginia Henshaw to where we are now is about role responsibility uh, that the chancellor has at the UH Manoa campus. Can you kind of expand on that and let us know really what defines the chancellor position? Well, my real responsibility is going to be to accomplish a number of goals. Mm-hmm. And the main one is, is to build a research-based economy in Hawaii, Mm -hmm. uh, to build a knowledge economy, one that's based on information, informatics, and kind of expand out the the land-grant mission of the university. Um, You know, we're actually celebrating the sesquicentennial of the Land-Grant Act, Mm -hmm. and originally that was to advance the agricultural and mechanical arts. Um, And that's that's still a very important thing for land-grant universities, but today... It's also about building the educational system of the state, about the health care system of the state, uh, and issues that are so important to Hawaii, like uh, energy sustainability and food sustainability. Mm-hmm. So that's probably job one, is to because UH Manoa is a research university, to build that research economy and knowledge-based economy. But you know, critical to that, and kind of step two in that, is to ensure that our students are successful and can be part of that knowledge economy mm-hmm. and that they'll be, they'll be well educated to participate in the workforce of the future. And I personally am, am very uh, interested in making sure that students find their passion at the university, mm-hmm. that they find out what it is that they're really interested in pursuing, that they're transformed, and that they become critical thinkers and good communicators. And finally, third, I would say the important thing is to make sure that UH Manoa is a Hawaiian place of learning, that it studies and preserves the Hawaiian culture, that the Ohana is, has a respect for community and the environment and sustainability, and that we learn, quite frankly, from the host culture. So those are the, really the three things that it's important, I think, for me to accomplish uh, as Chancellor. Uh, talking with Dr. Uh, Tom Apple and uh, and thanking him for his time today. And Unfortunately, it is a bit limited today, but hopefully we can uh, get together again uh, at a later date, uh, Doctor. That would be awesome. I hope we can talk uh, frequently. Amen to that. I'd like to just get your take um, and maybe a compare and contrast. The areas of excellence that you see with the UH Manoa uh, campus and also some areas where you identify you know, we really need to jump in and improve this. And that could be related, obviously, to some of the prime objecti- objectives that you've outlined. But areas where the UH is really excelling and maybe some areas where we need some help. 
Well, there are tremendous areas of uh, it. It's interesting. The more I learned about uh, Manoa, I realized that this is really the world leader in all things related to areas around ocean, earth, astronomy, and also Pacific uh, uh, Asian studies, Pacific uh, Asian-oriented business, uh, really world-leading programs that uh, uh, you may have even seen. Uh, the New York Times had some articles citing some uh, UH researchers recently on beach erosion and things like this, where really UH Manoa has no peer. Uh, they're really the best in the world. The real areas, I think, that uh, will be exciting to grow and, and maybe where we have needs, what we really need is partners. Mm. As we try to build a research-based economy and a knowledge economy, what we need is to connect as a university with small business, uh, with our friends in the military, with our friends in government, uh, our, our friends and alumni, and come together to build through partnerships, some areas where we can turn ideas into wealth and ideas into jobs, into new business. So kind of developing the partnership, the entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. having our students and our faculty and our friends uh, get that entrepreneurial spirit so that we can really begin to, to grow new businesses and make Hawaii a far more business uh, a more diversified business economy. Uh, talking with Dr. Tom Apple, uh, UH Chancellor at uh, Manoa, of course, and uh, we appreciate uh, Doctor's time. I, I want to jump into an area that I did see that you made some comments initially upon uh, uh, receiving the position. It has to do about athletics, which is something you and I could talk about probably for about three <laughs> or four hours. Um, of course, a lot of conference uh, juggling going on, but Tell us your thought about uh, UH athletics specifically and the role of athletics in the university experience. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, I'm amazed at uh, the success that many of our athletes have. Um, I think athletics is one of the great uh, areas of forging students' skills in time management, in cooperation, in teamwork, in leadership. And, you know, a student who's spending uh, five or six hours a day training for their sport and still taking classes and still doing well uh, really is going to be a successful student when they graduate. So I think athletics is one of the great opportunities for teamwork and leadership and so on. And so I'm a, I'm a big supporter of college athletics because I think it can really mold students into, uh, into very successful people. Mm -hmm. I uh, understand, uh, wouldn't mind, maybe the Pac-13 sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I will say this. Uh, the University of Hawaii at Manoa is a university that has uh, roughly a $300 million per year expenditure in research. Mm -hmm. And we compete because of that with universities like Berkeley, USC, UCLA, uh, University of Washington, those are the schools that we compete with for our faculty, for our postdocs, for our graduate students. And my somewhat perhaps intemperate comments uh, that uh, a blogger has picked up on, those are really the schools that we compete with for our faculty and our intellectual capital mm -hmm. uh, and, and, quite frankly, for research dollars. And so you, you kind of like to play your athletics with the group that you're competing with in your academics. I see the connection. And, and uh, uh, so now you know, I'm delighted that, that we're competing with the, the Mountain West and uh, in our football arena and so on, but we are a very different type of institution from, from most of those schools. But we're delighted to be with them. Uh, and, uh, but we can all aspire at some point to, uh, to, to get a more natural match for mm -hmm. our athletic programs with uh, schools that match our academic abilities. Uh, we're talking with Dr. Tom Apple, uh, UH uh, Chancellor at uh, Manoa, and uh, just a couple of moments left. Tom, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask a little bit about remuneration because it is such a top-of-mind topic with uh, folks here at home. Um, it is uh, a contract. If you can, and I don't want to put words in, so if you wouldn't mind describing uh, the the financial aspects of your contract, I don't want to uh, misspeak. But also comment on the tenured position that will be available for you after your service as chancellor. And primarily, 
Is this is this uh, de rigueur for for uh, major university compensation, or can you give us any insight uh, to the remuneration you're receiving? I uh, so I've been to many universities and I've had positions at many universities, and and this is absolute common practice. I will say um, that it, it's probably important for the people of Hawaii to, to understand uh, that the salary I'm going to receive as chancellor is right in the median uh, for chancellors of flagship campuses. In fact, uh, if you want to do a little fact-checking, it, it there was a timely article just two weeks ago in the Chronicle of Higher Education that actually has a little chart, uh, and you'll see that uh, the salary I will receive is, is right at the median. Uh, it's, it's also true that I'm actually taking a slight pay cut uh, as I as I make this transition. Uh, and uh, so I'm not coming to Hawaii for the money. I'm actually coming because I see the incredible opportunity. Mm-hmm. I think it's the most unique university in the world. I, 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 in fact, I know that uh, without a doubt. And I just think that there's tremendous opportunities here. And I also want to make it very clear, uh, as a highly paid person, I expect to be held completely accountable uh, particularly along those three metrics that I mentioned mm-hmm. earlier. Uh, and uh, But it's very common. Uh, I've been tenured uh, for a long, long time at, at every university that I've been at. I was originally tenured at a uh, what we call an AAU, AAU university. I've been tenured uh, at every university I've been. I think my academic accomplishments warrant that. Uh, and... Uh, so, and these are these are in fact standard procedures. Before we go, uh, Tom, this is one issue that I'm sure you're aware of that we have a very uh, burgeoning issue with traffic in our community. Many eyes are turned to UH uh, in regard to scheduling classes, uh, class times, trying to mitigate some of the activity on our roadways. We have the West Oahu campus, which is poised to open uh, in the near future. Your thoughts about scheduling at UH classes vis-a-vis the difficult scenario we have with uh, commuter traffic in Honolulu? I, uh, I'm very interested in working uh, with people, with officials, and, and so on to see what we can do. Uh, I'm very interested in, in solving problems. Uh, that's, that's really one of, my, uh, one of the reasons I believe I was hired is to try to work these problems and work them through by talking with folks and trying to come to the best solution. So I'm looking forward to getting on that uh, as soon as I arrive. Uh, I recently saw a survey that, that showed that Honolulu has the uh, largest traffic problem mm-hmm. uh, in the country, and uh, uh, it's something there are often many possible scenarios and solutions to those, and I'm, I'm eager to, uh, to jump in and, and see what I can do to help uh, with the problem. When, uh, when you come to... Uh... When do you come to the campus full time, then, Tom? I'm actually flying out uh, next Tuesday to arrive uh, in Honolulu, and mm-hmm. uh, my official start date's the following Monday. Wow! There so. you go. Well, the most important question, of course, your favorite local food. We have to know, Tom. <laughs> What's... I think mahi mahi. Ah, oh, well, you picked a good one. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Uh, listen, we eagerly anticipate your arrival. I appreciate the conversation today very much, and uh, we hope uh, sincerely that we can continue to do this once you come uh, come on board over at UH permanently. Rick, uh, I hope this is the first of many conversations. I do appreciate it so much. All the best to you. Uh, Aloha Friday, and uh, we'll see you soon. Aloha. H. Manoa.